Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. So it's good to be uh, good to be back on the Blackbeard mats, Adam. Yeah, yeah. We just opened up um, Wexham Road. Yeah, Wexham Road's the trading estate um, off Wexham Road. Um, but yeah, so we're limited for numbers right now. Obviously, coronavirus, so it's uh, coaches only taking bookings. Um, but it's good to have a new home. Yeah, yeah. Uh, good to be back on the mats. Obviously, we've been off the mats for about five, s- five, six months yeah, now yeah, since five March. Months, yeah. And um, that can have a uh, have a huge impact on yourself, you know, in mm. terms of conditioning, yeah, you know, cardio, f- your exactly. technique, everything. Yeah, so alhamdulillah, we're back now and uh, training hard. Giving so it a go. Yeah. Or anything you're going to fight next? Oh, mate, you're sticking on me. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. Hopefully, inshallah, soon. I'm looking forward to uh, just working a few skills and, you know, make the transition to MMA. Obviously, I only yeah. competed in K1, but I think... I want to move to MMA yeah, now, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the rest of the club, like mm-hmm. yourself, Cash, all competing MMA. Yeah, yeah. The rest of the young boys as well. Yeah. So maybe we'll see. Maybe end of October sometime. Inshallah. 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 Yeah, if yeah. I can, if I can just commit to getting up and doing some, mm. doing some runs on the yeah, track, yeah, yeah, yeah. then maybe otherwise, mm. you know, not with the current cardio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, inshallah. Do what? You just gotta stay focused. You know, getting the right yeah. diet. Yeah. The the right amount of training is obviously you got your strength, you got mm. your cardio. You find know. a good balance. Yeah, yeah, find a good balance, and that's it. You know, mm. then you're gonna be ready in good shape. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I can do it before. Obviously, with work, it's a little bit difficult, but yeah, I've yeah, done it course. before where I was working, training, and yeah, yeah, I, you yeah, know, yeah. I made it work. Mm. So um, I'm sure you have experienced that <laughs> yeah, as well. Yeah. So it's, it's a bit hard to balance at the start, but yeah, once once you, you get into yeah, it, yeah, yeah. once you have like one two camps already, then mm. you're just used to it. Then right at the end, you just go. Um, once all the hard work's done, you mm. just got to cut the weight and that's it. Yeah, I mean, it, what, it takes 30 days to build a habit, 90 to make a lifestyle. So yeah, it's yeah. just, obviously, <laughs> yeah, we've yeah. just had a lifestyle yeah, yeah, sitting inside, yeah. self-isolated. So it's going to take at yeah, least 90 days to get wild. back yeah, into yeah, it. Yeah, it's going to be wild. Mm. But what's the latest, man? Um, latest... Hopefully, just looking for fight shows, man. Just yeah, you know, I mean, I meant latest in terms of in latest in the f- uh, in the fight scene. Oh obviously. yes, yes. We have um, some couple of big big announcements. Oh yes, uh, um, John Jones looking to move to heavyweight. Yeah, he vacated his belt, so yeah, he's yeah. serious about it. Yeah, I think he just shook, man. I think he's just trying to run nah. away from the current light heavyweights, man. Nah, 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 bro. You can't say that, man. Not after nah, he's nah, been nah. he's been doing the doing the damn thing so long. He's yeah, but you know what? I think fighters. he shook now. He had a close fight with Dominic Reyes. Mm. I think he almost lost that, you know? Yeah, it was a close fight. Yeah, no yeah. doubt about that. I don't think he wants a rematch. You know what? But historically, John Jones always does better in rematches. The DC rematch, yeah, yes, yes, KO'd him. The Gus rematch, KO'd him. So I don't think he's scared. If he was scared, yeah. he wouldn't have fought Gus again. You know, if he was scared, he wouldn't yeah, have fought you know DC again. He picks his fights as well. Yeah, I mean, but when you're... He comes back whenever he feels like it. Yeah. He, he, like, even though, like, you know, he got caught for steroids and he had a ban and stuff. Yeah. But yeah. the fights he comes back to, uh, for example, um, OSP, mm. before him, yeah, you know, he he looked, he didn't look even that good for that fight. Yeah. Either. You're going to have some mm. days, OSP's no slouch, though, but you're going to yeah, have some yeah. days a little bit harder at the office, some days a little bit easier. Yeah, yeah. But um, I think a move to heavyweight's good. Yeah. He's giving a little bit more... Um, a little bit more interesting to John Jones. You know, we're tired yeah. of hearing John Jones, he's beating other light heavyweight. Yeah, oh, yeah, he's yeah. fighting, he's beating another yeah, light yeah, heavyweight. Yeah, true, true. He's dominated that weight class. It is good to move, but yeah. I reckon he should have had one more fight with Dominic Reyes just to prove that, mm. you know, he is the better man. If you know Maybe, I mean. you never know. Maybe for a little bit of parody, you got Dominic Reyes yeah. fights Jan. Yeah, the yeah. winner of that, John Jones gets the belt and yeah, now yeah, then yeah. you do a heavyweight strap versus yeah, light heavyweight yeah, yeah. strap. That would be good in the future, yeah. But I reckon he's going to go up to heavyweight He'd probably fight someone before, or he might go straight for the title shot. Nah, when you're John Jones, you want to go straight for yeah, the yeah. straight for a title shot. Yeah, you I reckon you'll get a Danish. You can't give leave one belt yeah. and not fight for another yeah, belt, yeah, right? Yeah. You're taking a step down mm. on the on the card. Yeah, John true, Jones, true. a headliner. Yeah, yeah, that is true. Wh- who, what do you think? So if he fights Stipe, Ooh. how do you see that fight going for him? I don't know, man. Stipe, he's a beast, bro. Stipe, he's got man. good hands. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's got good, good. takedown defense as well. Yeah. And he was doing a lot of offense um, yeah. against uh, Cormier in the last fight. That Cormier looked, fight, yeah, yeah. you really saw. I mean, Stipe, you know, he's even coming even leaner. Yeah, even, yeah. You know, he come leaner weight. and he was looking sharp. Yeah. He fought Francis Ngannou, man. He made him look like he was made nice. Him, literally made him look like they just picked him up off the road. Yeah, yeah trust him in me. The cage. Like he knew, never knew what MMA was. Literally. Yeah. Man, man doesn't even know how to throw his hip forward. But obviously, yeah. you know, 
it was a big step up in competition for him. Francis Ngannou was going in, you know, yeah, lighting yeah, yeah. everyone Finishing up. Everyone, so yeah, he still is. Yeah, he's still, he's he's still, still at the top, yeah. but um, I don't know, man. I think he saw his wrestling out. Yeah, I don't uh, know if Stipe's he's got that him. many more fights in him, though. I don't know. He's kind of cemented his legacy. How much yeah. more does Stipe want? You know, what's yeah. his motivation now? True. So, yeah, that's but really I, true. I think, but uh, I think a John Jones fight would, you know, that would spark because yeah, everyone yeah. wants that. They want to be that one in the yeah, yeah. John Jones. Do you know in his in his loss column? Obviously, yeah. there's already a one. Yeah, that don't count, man. That don't count. We don't count that. Yeah, but it has to be a, you know unan- disqualification. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't really count that either. Like, mm. for me, he was winning the fight. You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah until the, the elbow, he was yeah, finishing yeah. him. Oh, obviously, those the twelve to six elbows. Yeah, are yeah they're not allowed. Rule. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know n- enough about the twelve to six elbow. I just know that any elbow hurts. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trust me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's do predictions, all right? So yeah. John Jones, he's fighting Stipe. Yeah. What's your prediction, Adam? I don't know, man. It could go either way. Um, John Jones, I'd, I've never seen him, like, sort of... Um, actually, don't know, I don't know, man. I'm not sure. Could, yeah, yeah. Well, if I, I'll go first, yeah. So, I mean, if I'm looking at three aspects of the fight, yeah. conditioning, yeah. grappling, and striking. Yeah. Conditioning, Stipe, John Jones, you know, they're both well-conditioned yeah. athletes. You've never seen them fade yeah, in yeah. either fight. But John Jones is going up to heavyweight. Think about that. That amount mm. of muscle he's going to carry. Is you know, it he's not used to it. Is, he, is it going to be extra muscle or is it just going to be a little bit of fat? Well. Bit of fat? Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I've heard some stories of John Jones when he's at heavyweight and he's ragdolling heavyweights. Yeah, you know, yeah, obviously. Yeah. True, he has got strength, but that was when he was on you know, mm. the substance. I think he will always train hard yeah. and he'll never get tired. You've yeah. never seen John Jones get tired. Mm. He's always he's always going to fight. You've never seen Stipe yeah, yeah, get yeah. tired as yeah, well. They're always going to fight. Yeah, he's always going to come forward. Stipe S- comes forward. John mm. Jones sort of moves forwards, backwards. Yeah. You know, like he's, he's got that movement mm. in him as well. The also. boxing, Stipe. I feel like yeah, if yeah. John Jones is going to stay in the boxing range, yeah, yeah, he's going to yeah. keep getting yeah, yeah, caught. Yeah, yeah. But John Jones' elbows are elbows. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah, they're nasty. You know man. I, he can I mix haven't it actually up got a prediction for, you for this fight. I don't know who's gonna win yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> it's a bit of a hard one. It's one of those ones we're just gonna have to wait and see when it happens. Yeah, hundred percent, man. <laughs> but what's the uh, was there was another fight you wanted to talk about? Oh yeah, Israel Adesanya versus uh, Polo Costa. PC. Yeah, Polo Costa. Bro, that that fight's gonna be. That's all that striking. Fight. Yeah, I mean these these are two people where they genuinely don't yeah. like each other. Yeah, yeah. They, as they me don't and like Adam don't other. like each other, as you can tell. Yeah, yeah we're gonna have a scrap you should, Yeah, you should see the spas, uh, <laughs> balls that we go through now. Trust me, man. <laughs> now these are two people they don't like each other, yeah. so they're gonna come in to fight. None of them are. Neither of them are gonna back down. Hundred mm. percent. Like Polo Costa, he just comes forward. He just comes forward. He long. just tries to like finish you. Yeah, you know, he, he's, he's got a beast. A he's got gear. power. He's got what's called a lot of speed as well, like yeah, and a chin. He's yeah, got yeah. he's he, got a solid he can, chin. He can take shots on his chin all day long. You see the fight against Romero, bro. That, that was, was a war. It was bomb was after crazy. bomb after bomb. Yeah. You know, like mm. the you know Paula's not gonna. He's not afraid to get hurt. He's not afraid to get punched, yeah, kicked. Yeah. Um, he comes to fight, and Izzy, same thing. You know, Izzy said in his fight with Gaslam, like I'm yeah. prepared to die. Yeah, 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 so yeah, you know, yeah. we both got two warriors. It's yeah. just a matter of who can get there first. I reckon. Uh, my prediction is, yeah, if Polo Costa doesn't finish me in the first few rounds, I see uh, is he out pointing? Yeah, 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 like just just winning on like points. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I feel the same way. I feel like he would, Izzy would probably just yeah, outpoint cause him because he, his cardio will overrun. You know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. if he can uh, keep Polo missing, yeah, yeah, wasting yeah. his energy, you know, all the slick movement yes, you yes, see him doing. Then, um, then well, yeah. even if Polo Costa does go for a takedown, you know, try and mold him a bit. I you mean, know. but I, I, Izzy's got real good hips, and even yeah, if you take him down, and pop back oh, up. He, his takedown defense is very good. Man. Yeah, he doesn't want to be on the ground, and you know, we've seen him throw a yeah. few submissions up from there. Mm-hmm. So I don't think Polo's going to try and Polo doesn't want to take him down. He wants yeah. to come in and he wants he to wants hurt. Yeah, Izzy. he wants to finish him. I reckon. Yeah, yeah. 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 that'll be another good fight. When's that again? Is it? What, I think it's not? September. September, October. 19? September. Oh, no, no, no. I can't remember actually. Can't remember. We're gonna have to double check that. Yeah, we gotta double check that. Oh, but another fight. This one's a proper grudge match. Which one? Uh, Woodley versus Covington. Oh, finally getting yeah, that yeah, one yeah. as well. That one. Oh my god, I can't <laughs> be off guard for that one. Yeah, that one's gonna be sick. I man. feel like we're getting it too late now, though. You know, I wanted that yeah, one. Yeah, I wanted it before he, f- uh, Covington for, um, Komaru. Yeah. And I reckon you know if that happened, that because he was that he was getting the fame, he was like at his peak of like he was getting known, and you know mm-hmm. like, so I think if he fought Woodley, then 
that was a bigger story. fight, yeah. yeah. And you know what? Seeing Woodley come off two losses, I know, you know what? Both five yeah. rounds, Woodley mm. was in the fight. You know, first one, all right, with Usman, yeah, yeah, it yeah. felt like he wasn't 100%. Second yeah. one, he didn't stop fighting. It was, yeah, he just yeah, got yeah, overwhelmed yeah, a little was, bit. Yeah, you know, um, Burns is, is no joke. Yeah, but um, I'd, I'd have liked to have seen it when Woodley was, you know, still still at the top. And yeah, 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 coming 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming but, you know, both coming off a loss, so I reckon it'll be a good fight either way. I reckon it'll be a good matchup, yeah. Who's, what's your prediction for that fight? You know what? Just because I'm a Woodley fan, yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd like to see Woodley win that fight. But you know, if Co- I feel like Covington's got the he's got the car- the cardio and the gas yeah. tank to just put it on Woodley. 100%, yeah. And you see, Woodley likes but, to explode more. But I reckon Woodley's gonna catch him in a clean shot. Yeah. His striking's better than Kamaru's. And he's just yeah. a split Explosive. second faster yeah, 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 than yeah. everyone. Yeah, yeah, everyone yeah. in I the weight class. Got, I reckon he'll finish it. Probably like round two, round three. What do you think? You know what? I reckon if if Woodley's gonna do, he's gonna get it done early. Yeah. But then if it goes the distance, then you're gonna see Covington. Yeah, yeah. I reckon Covington's got better cardio. Yeah, but that w- that's another good fight. Yeah, yeah. But um, but coming back to to Blackbeard. Yeah. You know um the the new dojo that's opened up. Yeah. Obviously, we've got the Oswald Jiu Jitsu school as well. Yeah, so yeah, me yeah. and me and Adam are gonna be getting our geese on. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, get um, that blue belt soon. Yeah. <laughs> you know, inshallah, you know. Inshallah. Need to get that blue belt. Yeah. But uh, we, I mean, we've been grappling for a couple of years now, but yeah. I've never done been, the gi. Uh, yeah, yeah, like the jiu-jitsu has been up and down. You know, I've had like boxing fights, so mm-hmm. I missed out on the jiu-jitsu. Like it wasn't consistent. Yeah. So now, like you know, we got um, our instructor Nisar, and he's a black belt. You know, he's uh, he's got a lot of experience as well. Mm-hmm. So a lot he's a very learn. good instructor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So but as you know, jiu is just practice as well. You know, yeah, you yeah, can't yeah, one day learn the triangle, but if you're not practicing it yeah, every yeah, day, you're not forget about it. You're gonna forget. That's yeah. That's what happened mm. over over COVID. Yeah, I forgot in everything. I'm getting into <laughs> positions. I don't yeah, know yeah, what yeah. I'm doing, but I don't even know what God is, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, man. Um, yeah, it's gonna be good, man. And then we have got the M- our MMA sessions as well yeah. that are um, obviously currently due to the <laughs> COVID conditions. You know, we're keeping hygiene yeah. a priority. Um, Clean the mats after the sessions. Yeah, yeah, trying to keep it. To, you this know, guy's been lazy. I've been cleaning it after. You know. Oh, well, I'm sorry, man. You know, <laughs> I just thought I'd let Adam do a, f- a little bit of work oh, from, safe, from time bro. to time. Now you're definitely cleaning it, you know, right now. Obviously. Right now? B- yeah, yeah. B- yeah, well, I mean, the w- the job that you did, I'm going to have to go over it again, <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, anyways, <laughs> man. Um, yeah, the... Yeah, the new fi- new facility is amazing, man. It's no, we definitely. Got, we got a sesh- uh, we got a place upstairs. Good we are safe right environment now for PTs and stuff. Um, mm. We also do the jiu jitsu here. Um, we got a lot of. Um, What's the session that you look forward to the least? The least. Mm. Oh, it has to be short session, man. <laughs> Wednesdays, bro. <laughs> Wednesday's fight yeah, class. Yeah, man. <laughs> the fight class, bro. It's crazy, bro. No. He just puts us through it somewhere. But like those are the sessions tense. where. It started. He's taking you to the next level. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. And you yeah. gotta be willing to yeah, yeah, yeah. to take you. You got you gotta be willing to go places that you know you don't want to go. Yeah, yeah. When you're tired, mm. you still gotta keep 100%, going. Yeah. Like we do a lot of um, crazy like pad work sessions, where he calls one of them the um, the burnout, mm-hmm. and that one just that just finishes you off. After that, you just want to get water. <laughs> still, he's beer like. He watches you like he don't want you to drink a lot of water. Yeah, so not too much yeah, water. Not too much water. <laughs> so he just watches you and that <laughs> keeps him on you. Wants to make it as difficult as possible, yeah. but, but good sessions definitely. Yeah, Shaw's a top-notch coach, man. He's yeah, very enough. I mean, all the yeah. coaches we got here at Blackbird yeah, yeah, and, uh, and the whole team as well. Yeah. I'd say, you know, I feel like I've never felt coming here that oh, you know what, I'm g- I'm gonna get hurt. Or, yeah, yeah, you know, you're gonna someone's gonna try and hurt me. You know, we're all trying to help each other to get better, and then we let our uh, our performance in the cage speak for our training, right? Yeah, we yeah, don't want to hurt our partners. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've been training together like three years, three, yeah, four yeah. years now. Yeah. And Adam, you know, I, w- I wouldn't say he, I've ever thought that oh, Adam's coming to. Yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> we go, we go, we we go like at a certain pace. Like just say like he picks it up a bit. Like you know, he's yeah. trying a lot of combos. Then I'll pick it up again. You mm. know, and we just sort of balance it. It won't be like one guy's just going all out, the other guy's just standing there, like yeah. correcting But even when we go hard, it's been we've known each it's other, controlled. we've trained each other yeah, for yeah. a while, so yeah. we know how hard to go. Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, with someone new, would never. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, you just need to build uh, build that you know that sort of respect about you know with each other. Yeah, you know. that's important. Mm-hmm. Obviously, you, you gotta remember to as Khabib says, you know, be humble. Yeah, be humble, bro. Be, be humble. humble. Be humble, brother. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're like a kid and you just joined a new club, you know. And you're new there, like, 
you shouldn't come there and think, oh yeah, I need to make an impression, you know, I need to like show everyone I'm sick, you know. You just gotta go there, you know, learn the moves, mm-hmm. you know, practice, you know, be nice to someone, someone's gonna be nice to you. Because there's no point going to a gym and you're new, you don't know what you're doing, and you try to go all out and then they're just gonna hurt you, mm-hmm. you know. And then or you so can cool. hurt yourself as well. Yeah, sometimes. you can hurt yourself. Yeah, you might just injure yourself. You might just go, yeah. go for a heavy leg kick or something, you know, shin or shin. Yeah, and, and that's it. Get your foot clipped on the knee, and next mm. thing you know, your f- your foot's swollen up. So yeah. even um, though we don't train here, we're like without shin guards. Mm-hmm. Everyone, you must w- come with the equipment and stuff. But injuries can yeah. still, you know, you can, you can still, still yeah, hit someone's knee or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's right, ice pack that, and then good to oh. go. No, bit of Aldi and that. <laughs> <laughs> you know about turmeric, innit? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, man, the facility is amazing. Martial art, you know. Mm. Just looking forward to just keep training here. Yeah. And What's yeah. your what's your plans? When are you looking to get back into the into the cage? Um, I've spoken to uh, my manager Enigma. Um, just waiting for him to get back to me. Mm-hmm. Inshallah, sh- I want to fight because this year oh. I haven't competed not once. Mm-hmm. And it feels like a waste of a year. Yeah. Because you know, of COVID, I was meant to fight April nineteenth, I believe, on Fight Store. But yeah, because of Corona, it's, it's got cancelled. So. Do you feel like going back? You're gonna have any form of ring rust, or you're gonna be you're ready to go? Uh, as soon do you as know you what? You know, even my last fight, um, it was like a s- five six month, um, like in between. Like yeah, four. like a five six. Yeah, month so over. I thought I was gonna feel a bit of li- ring rust. I did feel it a little bit, but once I got in there, like after a minute, I just mm-hmm. felt like good, and you know, I just finished in the first round so yeah so i couldn't That's really it. feel it fully Adam but first round <laughs> <laughs> first round roger yeah man come on man <laughs> but yeah you know um what do you think when do you think you want to fight like i said man um i want to get my i mean i'm ready in terms of if you give me a date then yeah, i've got yeah. something to work towards oh yes yes, yes 100%. um but i mean personally like i'm just starting my new my yeah, new job yeah. and stuff so i gotta work a few yeah, things yeah, out yeah. Uh, get my routine nah, but we want to see you man oh you yeah, know what just I'm quit I'm your <laughs> job just, just <laughs> come full time you yeah full time start banging out. might have to might have you know if it starts picking up one yeah. two quick wins next yeah, thing you know yeah, inshallah man straight uh, out the ufc yeah. <laughs> 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 i don't know if i'm ready for that man it's gonna nah, be a while will, you will be man inshallah bro. inshallah just inshallah. gotta stay dedicated mm. you know and just protect yourself yeah, you know, just keep coming to me. I think uh, I think training, especially uh, training a martial art, is yeah. important for every kind of young man and woman. Um, just generally, I mean, you build a little bit of self confidence. You understand how yeah, to yeah, defend yourself. Yeah, um, and you can just read a situation yeah. a little bit better. You know, mm. you know not to let someone if they're being aggressive, not to let yeah, them yeah, too yeah. close. You can manage that a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you also feel like not shook as all like you won't feel scared yeah. if someone's getting your face because you know. What no, would you say is the reason yourself? that you got into martial arts? What was the reason? Um, the reason I've always liked combat sports like I was a big fan of boxing first mm-hmm. um, I should train boxing first and then I sort of stopped because of school and everything yeah. and then after that I started watching Anderson Silva highlights and stuff yeah. and <laughs> once I watched him I was like oh, whoa I want to do this man mm. and then I found out there's some um, MMA gyms went to sign MMA gyms and then yeah. that's it and then just I fell in love way. with the sport man that's it. amazing the difference between the boxing and MMA is yeah Boxing, you know what's gonna happen. You stand toe to toe, you know, you know, move around a bit, you know, you, but you know, you're just gonna yeah. be punching in it. It's just the left hand and yeah. right hand. You just got in MMA. You don't know what's gonna happen. You <laughs> might, you might go in there thinking that yeah, it's gonna be a striking fight, but you might be f- like, you know, grappling for the next three rounds. Yeah, innit? and it's different. Like sometimes you gotta understand that the cardio that you need for striking is yeah. different to the cardio that you need yeah, for grappling. Like it's different man. breathings and yeah, yeah, you're yeah. using different muscles. So sometimes after you've grappled, yeah. you could be the best boxer. You come up and your hands feel yeah, heavy. You, you feel like you you know, you're, just weighed, you're just picking up like, like weights and stuff. You know, yeah, for someone that likes the boxing, what yeah. would you say in your experience when you've had to grapple yeah. and you're, then you're getting back up? Do you oh, feel like your arms get a little bit heavy? Yeah, or is it, it feel a bit heavy, but then once I throw like a one-two, like... It feels when you get your range and yeah, time, yeah, you have you to get, just reset. You just, you just, I just carry on. You just gotta go mm. with it, man. Even though it feels heavy, but you just go keep go throwing keep it. Going. Because the they're adrenaline. probably th- feeling the same thing. Yeah, definitely. And they're probably just lifted their arms up, thinking, "Blood, yeah, man." Like, yeah. You know, how am I <laughs> holding my hands up? Yeah, everyone's tired. You yeah. if you if you go into the fight thinking that oh I'm scared to get tired, yeah. then you're probably already gonna start losing that fight. Yeah, yeah, go in man. knowing that I'm gonna mindset, get tired. Yeah, you know, go in there. Yeah, just. Just do what you gotta do, man. Whatever you've been training, you know, just go in there and just bang it out. Mm. Like for me, like I'll be doing a lot of striking. I work on my my weaknesses a lot, and you know, I just go stick to game plan, and that's it. Yeah. What's your What's your six week training goal? 
my six week uh, would you right really now the I'll most in the next six weeks my jiu jitsu man just yeah. straight jiu jitsu <laughs> and wrestling so you can get the gi on yeah a couple of wrestling classes jiu jitsu yeah yeah and start mixing it in yeah man like the classes we go to um, for wrestling, man, it's crazy. Yeah. Scott's classes on a Wednesday and Friday. Friday, yeah, 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 yeah. bro. Those are good. If you want to lose weight, burn some calories, and yeah, or just learn learn some good know. wrestling as well, because it's, it's the wrestling conditioning as yeah, well. Yeah, it's a lot of conditioning, man. You know, you don't you, like, you, you underestimate wrestling because you think oh WWE, but when you yeah. actually start <laughs> doing some wrestling, yeah, like Khabib store, yeah, yeah. Bruv. You know, Start you feel getting next tired. Level. I'm gonna, well, you know, Khabib said it to he's uh, about it, um, about Gaethje that oh he's gonna make him tired. He's gonna take him to yeah. deep waters yes, yes, where yes, he doesn't yes. want to be. Mm. So um, I mean, we can go back to some of the MMA points. But what do you think of this Khabib Gaethje fight? Well, like, do you think? Well, do you, I, I think Gaethje's gonna get tired. Gaethje says yeah. I get tired wrestling. Khabib's yeah, yeah. gonna come in and wrestle. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. that's true. You know, Gaethje's told us he mm. gets tired wrestling. Do you know what, Khabib? I've never sort of seen him sort of fade a bit like. Mm. Now I've seen him slightly get slightly sloppy, yeah. Yeah, like slow down. Yeah, slow down, but you can't really judge that fight because yeah. he was fighting Ala Quinta and he wasn't sort of ready to fight a guy like that. So yeah. he was training for Ferguson, and then gets put in. Yeah, then he gets he's, he's got Max, and yeah, then yeah. he's got Al. Uh, but even then, like well. Khabib yeah. was still going yeah. until the end. Obviously. His Khabib's he was just, he was just practicing his stand up, I think. Yeah, he's just yeah, standing yeah, yeah. jab, jab. And he you're telling me that Khabib's stand up isn't good and he's yeah, yeah, there yeah. slipping and jabbing with yeah, Al. Yeah, yeah. And Trust then me. Al goes in and he puts in performances against Give Kevin Lee slap. and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I man. don't think Al's, any, uh, Al's a joke around, so you can't. Uh, and obviously, mm. everyone says, oh, Khabib's stand up, but he dropped, dropped McGregor yeah, as well. Yeah, who's known um, as like Poirier's stand up is. Poirier finished Gaethje. And yeah, yeah, you know, trust me. Look what Khabib did to him. So trust me, man. I feel like that's going to be a you good know, Khabib fight. Khabib's just the next level beast and he's only getting better and better. Yeah. You know? Compare his fight from, like, just say, Dos Anjos versus um, his last one against Poirier. Yeah. You know, like, you know, he just keep getting better. He's stand More up. so confident, you know? Mm. Mm. He's just a different beast, bro. You know, like, yeah. he different was training with Bears, bro, when he was six, bro. Level. Different level. I mean, man. I saw a video of him... Um, uh, swimming in a river in Dagestan yeah. and he's swimming against, oh, yeah, the, against stream. the yeah, yeah, yeah. and I'm just thinking like have you ever, if you ever go for a swim and you swim for about you know yeah. if you try and do like say 10 laps I don't know I did 10 laps obviously my swimming technique's not great but yeah. I feel like I was going to throw up yeah, 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 after yeah. those 10 laps and, and you see swimming, swimming towards against yeah, the yeah, current I've seen that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know that takes that's, that's hard bro yeah and in cold water as well yeah 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 obviously your, your body feels like it's shutting down you mm. know you know, it's so cold you know Literally. you need heat I know it's just hard work. You just man. hear his muscles slapping against the water. Slaps. Slap, yeah, yeah, slap. yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's that's what you call that. Scary you know? guy. Determination, hard yeah. work. And know, obviously with the, with the with the death of his uh, his his uh, father. Oh, as yes, well. you gotta take that into impact because mm. he was saying um, this fight camp is gonna be is is, is very different mm. for him because obviously he doesn't have his father like you know ringing him you know checking up on him because that's yeah. his main coach. Yeah. He's not Javier Mendes. His re- main coach is his father. Mm-hmm. You know. He gives him the advice, you know, he's been with him from he the gives start. gives him the game plan, everything. Yeah, yeah, gives him the game plan, father's game plan, you know? Yeah, father's game plan. <laughs> father's <laughs> you know? game plan. Yeah. <laughs> that's the game plan that's ma- been getting him the wins, man. Yeah. That's why he's 28-0? Uh, 28-0, yeah. Bloody hell, 28-0. I've never in heard of that In MMA, before. that is that Yeah, is that's that's, like, that's crazy, bro. It's a feat. Isn't it? One obviously you only get athletes like that once in a you know, once in a hundred years type that, thing. You know what people? Some people that I heard, yeah, they're saying like you know, Mayo, he's the Mayo of MMA. Nah, man, he's nah. Just, still on a different level. This twenty and O is like seventy and O in boxing. Yeah, isn't it? And like the competition, the 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 good thing about MMA is, is yeah. you're always fighting the next best guy. Yeah, you know, like you can't run is in one organization. Mm. You gotta yeah. fight, you know, the top guys. You know, like in boxing contender. you could avoid people. You know, I mean, Mayweather fought bums for years. Yeah, like, there's loads and of he people av- that he and fought. he avoided Pacquiao for a very long time yeah, as well. He you fought know? Canelo early. Like yeah, yeah, now, yeah. Imagine yeah. running it back with Canelo now. Yeah, he would just so get <laughs> destroyed, man. <laughs> it would be, it would be uh, probably a very different fight. But obviously. Mm. No, uh, no discredit to Mayweather. He's yeah, no, nah, no, nah, he is sick. He, he is, he's, he's a very good boxer. Yeah, very good boxer. Very but forget boxing, boxer. man. Yeah, I don't want to get. Into uh, get the back boxing. to MMA, bro. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Yeah, but Khabib, man, you know, his I think without his father, it's gonna be a bit harder, I reckon. Yeah, without his father, but you know what? I think he's gonna step up now. Yeah. Obviously, there's a big 
uh, mm. Dagestani presence, yeah, yeah, Russian presence in uh, in the UFC. Yeah. Um, and they're going to be looking for leadership. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like within man. Dagestan as well, you know, they're going to be looking for yeah. leadership and Khabib's going to be the next. I reckon one. he'd probably have like two fights which I reckon are going to happen. Yeah. yeah. If he beats Gaethje, which he will, inshallah. Inshallah. Yeah. Um, he, it's either going to be Ferguson, mm-hmm. yeah, if Ferguson, I don't know if he gets a win or he fights or not, yeah. Yeah. yeah I think Ferguson gets a win, yeah, even in his next fight. Could be said if anyone anyone that beats Poirier, he'll fight them. Oh yes, yes, yeah, yeah. So, so Poirier was a still he's still a top, you know, he's a top top um fighter. Yeah. So having that rematch would it also be a good fight or the rematch with McGregor. That's the money fight. Yeah. But so I don't want to see McGregor get yeah. another fight in. I don't want to see him go in again yeah, off yeah. a layoff mm. and fight someone like Khabib when Khabib's yeah, yeah. just, you know, he's had an, he's got a good fight with Gaethje. You know, McGregor needs to get in, mm. he needs to fight someone. But you Yeah, know, he needs to climb up the ladder, man. You know, you just yeah. can't just jump straight back in and expect, you yeah. know. I mean, I'd watch it just because of the brand McGregor, but I'm yeah, not watching yeah, yeah. it anymore because... He McGregor knows how to sell fights, isn't it? Yeah. He is a good entertainer, I'd say. You know, he knows how to sell a fight. You know, he's, a, he's, he's a damn good fighter as yeah, well. Yeah, he's, he's a very good striker. Yeah, yeah. Haven't been seeing mm. that. You know, obviously the cowboy fight goes in. Yeah, yeah. You see twenty seconds. Yeah. Cowboy gets mm. hurt. I want to see McGregor. You know, back when he's mm. Chad Mendes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, no, it also good. is is um, the arrogance. You know, all that. It's the um, the whiskey he's been drinking. Kids never drink whiskey. I'm telling you. Bro. Yeah, stay away. Yeah, from just that. don't drink. Don't. Um, take drugs don't smoke don't do anything that is you just know, train yeah just train just train, just train you good. know if you get peer pressure you know just um, like, you know like how friends tell you oh yeah, yeah smoke is only one thing you know one palm and that nah never bro. don't even think yeah. about it bro. just remember that whatever you put into your body you're looking to get a result out yeah. of it so you want to get the best positive uh, results yeah. out of whatever you're putting like, into you know your body. you must have some friends as well like you know that um like back in the day in school, you know, they should be like, oh, yeah, smoke this and yeah, that. Yeah, and then course. once they get older, yeah, you get to about age now, they're like, oh, biggest mistake I've ever made in my life. Mm. You know? A lot of, yeah. I, I know people that are obviously, um, they got into the wrong habits. Mm. And now, obviously, you know, Alhamdulillah, they've turned away from those yeah, things. Yeah, 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 of course. But um, it's, 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 it's you not can see easy. The, yeah, it's not easy, but you can see mm. where it takes them as well. Yeah, obviously, yeah, yeah. you should always put, you know, your family, your religion, mm. these things first. Yeah, 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 first. You should always think, like, is this... Like, is this halal? Is it, you know, is it permissible? Yeah, consider then, these you things. Because if you put, you know, if you put Allah first, then he's just going to make everything easy for you. Yeah, um, 100%, man. Yeah, I, I don't think there's anything that would, uh, you know, make me not believe that type mm. thing. Yeah, yeah, 100%, man. Like, you know, like some of the best athletes, for example, like, you know, Khabib, yeah? Mm. He puts his religion before everything. Yeah, you know? I think he's a real good role model. A lot of the yeah, negative he's really good stigma we have yeah, around yeah. Islam mm. and Muslims. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, he, it's good that we have someone out there that's yeah. on the big stage and yeah, he's, yeah, 100%, and he's man. letting the people know what yeah. we, you know, what our religion yeah. and what our people are like and what we stand yeah, yeah. for. Like one of the moments here yeah, that I'm proper made me proud of yeah, when he's like, tomorrow night, <laughs> now he's like, alhamdulillah, <laughs> tomorrow night I'm gonna smash your yeah. boy, guys. Like, I you know, know you don't like this. I know you don't like this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was something big, man. Yeah. From like so many people yeah so many Irish fans and you're saying that and they're swearing at him well. yeah in yeah America. they're throwing beers at him you know yeah. he's just standing there you know he's so proud of his faith you know mm. that's that's what I respect about him the most yeah you know more than his actual um uh you know his his you know his, uh, his like his his he's representing his faith first and then yeah. his country and then his people but he's yeah. always he's he's always got it in his mind that I'm a Muslim and I need to act like a Muslim yeah so, um obviously you know we're told that even our actions yeah. can uh, are a form of dawah as well. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, man. So um, I think his actions have led a lot of people. I know his me as well made me proud. Yeah, like you know, oh, look at Khabib, look at what he's doing. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, hundred percent, man. You know what I believe is, if your mind is strong, you know, you are gonna be strong. You know. Yeah. You know, that's what could be, you know, he well. said that recently in an interview where he was like you know these fighters they think that I get my strength from my muscles yeah, yeah, yeah. he's like they don't know that my real strength is coming from, yeah, from yeah, my from lord yeah, yeah. and uh, s- you know obviously the, n- uh, the people that don't believe in Islam yeah. you know, they're not gonna may necessarily agree with that and yeah. they may not understand what he's saying mm. um, but for us you know there's something that we understand and can relate to because mm. uh, you know when you're tired 
when you are when you haven't got the energy and you're hurt, sometimes mm. you're looking for that little bit extra strength and yeah. that's where it comes from. Yeah, yeah, 100%, man. You like sometimes you just think randomly, you know, just think about God, you like asking for strength, you know, you're doing a little mm. bit of and that, you know. Obviously, and you can't you just sit at home ask for strength yeah. and not train. You got to train, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got to put Yeah, you got to put in the work, man. You just, you can't just expect, you know, one day with like flipping some next strength and some next cardio, you know, yeah, you just got to no, put the wanna, work in. You want to get the strength that Adam's got, you got to put in years <laughs> of work, bro. years. Because there's no strength, bro. Nah, real talk, I actually got strength, bro, too. Yeah. <laughs> Man's hench cuz. Yeah, trust me, bro. You don't know the biceps, bro. This is just some fake stuff, I took, you know. Make it look smaller. It's and cold that, in the, the room, isn't it? It's yeah, it's cold. cold. It's cold, man. It's really cold, bro. It's winter, bro. Isn't it? Yeah, it's August and we got the heating on, man. What's going on, bro? Yeah, trust me, bro. I swear to God, as soon as we get the chance, we got to move the whole black beard abroad somewhere, man. Yeah, trust me, man. Turkey. Yeah, Turkey will be sick. <laughs> Turkey will be mad, bro. <laughs> Perfect man, heat. You know, like when you went to Thailand, yeah? yeah? Like when me and Cash went to Thailand, bro, it was so hot, man. I just trained topless there, bro. It was like yeah. just walking towards the gym, you're sweating already. already. sweating. Yeah, bro. Like, That's a good experience, though. About two, three liters of water every day. Mm. Bro, it's just too much, man. But yeah, anyways, guys, we're going to wrap it up here. Yeah, I think we should wrap this up now. Yeah. But I think it's been a great first. First, you know, first, first uh, podcast. And, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, cage closed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, guys, cage closed. <laughs>